Hello everyone, my name is Alan. And this is Dominic Nice Furrow. All... And today we will be going over the commercial building design. And what we've done is we created a smokehouse. So let's dive right into this project. For this civil engineering and architecture capstone project, the design team, Alan and I, have been tasked with developing a commercial facility from a vacant or abandoned lot that will not only benefit Oakland economically, but also socially. And our proposal is creating a city smokehouse with an open roof concept. And we'll go more into the details of how that will be implemented and its benefits in the coming slides. So when you guys take a look at this map, you can guys see the blue pin at the um, top's middle area right on over there. But basically what this pin represents is basically the address of where this location is. So it's at 8700 Ridgeland Avenue in Oakland, Illinois. And you can see the latitude and longitude for the specific uh, coordinates for this area. The land code for this um, building is a commercial land so that is what we want um, the description currently is a vacant lot it used to be a car wash but the city turned tore down and now it's currently a vacant lot you can see more information it has the parcel number and you can see the elevation is 617 feet above the sea level going alongside the topographic map from the previous slide we included satellite views and street views to better get a picture of what this plot of land looks like and also get a real sense of the size of the plot of land that we're able to work with to bring forth this project of having the smokehouse. As you can guys see, we have um, 173 feet by 125 feet, which is basically more than enough space to basically build this city smokehouse. So the smokehouse is 76 feet by 72 feet, which is plenty of space for uh, a two-story building. And this building is gonna be 70 feet tall, so 35 feet per, um, per level so anyways as you can guys see we have a very unique smokehouse on over here the first level we would have uh, the main dining area but on the second floor we would have outdoor dining and it would be seasonal during the spring and the summertime and as you can guys see we have a vegetable garden we have outdoor seating we have a bar outside and we have a stage outside for live entertainment in the summer so we thought that would be a pretty cool idea for this and we think that it will be very very successful during the summertime. With a budget of $450,000 our design group envisions building a two-story smokehouse that is not only beneficial in all ways for the village but also is economically viable given the current concrete lot that we are given. So the main game plan that we have going on here is we are going to be using structural steel. So structural steel is very effective in many different ways. It's strong, it's rugged, it's cost efficient, and it's time effective. Now, speaking of time effective, it's really important as we have this so that we would be able to complete this build in a um, time effective manner. But also we got to understand the properties of steel. Steel is much different than concrete. As we all know, concrete has to um, cure at a specific temperature while steel can be assembled in colder weathers, warmer weather. It can be assembled anytime, anywhere. So, so this is the main reasons why we choose structural steel over concrete. Our design group has also provided you in this presentation with these 3D renderings that will not only let you see the inside of the restaurant, but will also give you a feel for the kind of atmosphere that this restaurant will deliver. The decorations on the ceiling, the walls, the color of the walls, the space layout, all deliver the idea of this restaurant being trendy, inviting, and comfortable to not only the customers, but also the staff working there. And the main lobby, second floor view with the bar, and the first floor dining area all are great examples in showing that atmosphere that is present in the smokehouse. 
So here's more renderings of this entire build. You can see the top left, it has a second floor view, which looks pretty smexy. And then you see on the first floor kitchen, the UV garden, which is very essential for any sort of vegetation to grow during the winter time. And then employee locker rooms, which is gonna be on the first floor. Besides the customer experience, it is also important in laying out how the restaurant will maintain and operate behind the scenes. These aspects include bathrooms, kitchens, operating rooms, storage areas, utility rooms, offices, all these things that customers won't see in their dining experience, but are very important and crucial in maintaining the operations of the restaurant. And these renderings are just out on this slide to give you a better idea of all the aspects of the restaurant, not only customer experience, but also employee, employee and staff experience. It's a pyramid and all aspects of the pyramid need to be in place, both on customer side and the people working there, the employee side and staff that will help maintain the structure and the operations and efficiency of the restaurant. On this slide, you can see this is the first floor dining area. It looks very nice, very elegant. Uh, we try to make a smokehouse uh, feel by changing the color, by putting some paintings in, uh, changing color to terracotta, which is uh, more of what a smokehouse really inquires. And then you can see there's a green roof area, which has outdoor seating, has an outdoor bar, as you can guys see with that fridge. We have overhanging lights, and we also have a outdoor fireplace for people to hang out, chill, and have a great time. And you can also see there's a stage right next to the fireplace, which is also another big hit. On this slide, our design group has included a general template of what our proposed smokehouse will look like from the exterior. So we have our floor plan, which gives you a top-down view of how the layout of the building will look like. We have different front-facing views from different sides. We have the north and the east. And we also have an isometric view, which gives you two different sides you can look at from a corner view. So based on what you guys see right on over here, you can see that on my left, we have uh, the ground floor plan. And on my right, we have the second floor plan. So on the ground floor, we have basically the necessities that we need. We need main kitchen, locker room, utility room, storage area where all of our foods and goods are from local businesses are going to be. We have a general's manager's office. We have a service elevator for any sort of food that's going upstairs or downstairs. And then we also have a customer elevator that uh, wants to go upstairs or downstairs. We also have men's bathroom and women's bathroom that are both ADA compliant, which is very important. We have main dining area on the first floor, which contains 104 seats. We have a spiral staircase to the second floor, and that leads into the second floor. So in the second floor, we have a main dining area of 36 seats. Uh, we have a gaming area, which is a pool table. We have a bar. We both have uh, two unisex bathrooms, which are both ADA compliant. We also have um, UV garden. We have another small kitchen. It's smaller than the main kitchen. And then we also have a green roof, which out there did, contains 39 seats. We also have an outdoor bar, entertainment area. So overall, this is a very complex drawing, but it contains a lot of information that makes a lot of sense. With our business proposals and ideas like green roof and a UV garden, our plans are for increased revenue for the village and for this place to act as a social hub for family and friends to enjoy hanging out. So now let's talk about the economics behind all this, which is running the numbers. So let's first talk about the expenses and then we'll talk about the revenue. So the expenses of the building is going to be $450,000. That's an estimation. And then the cost of the lot is $750,000. So approximately it's going to be $1.2 million. 
Now the expected revenue is going to be $582,000 every year. The estimated taxes will round up to 19.8%. So that would be $115,236 every year. We would have 15 employees in total. The cost per plate is going to be $6.57, which is better than our competitors, which is like, like Billy Boys and the patio. Um, we would make a sufficient profit of 8%, which is $58,200 every single year. And the smokehouse is very great in many of reasons that we would help nonprofit organizations and we would bring um, extra food that we would have to the shelters in need. And we would also provide uh, community service for schools and people that actually want to help out the community. Alan and I have also included demographics of the village on this presentation because in order to be successful as any business, it's important to know the audience you will be appealing to. So we included statistics like population, median household income, median age, median property value, and the makeup of the race in the village. So we have a better understanding of how we will be catering to our customers. So in this slide, we're going to be talking about the similar developments in the U.S. So as you can guys see to my right, this is um, another similar development that we have found in the U.S., which is known as the Ivy City Smokehouse. And this is in Washington. This restaurant is known for fish, seafood, and local spirits. And it has a great entertainment area on the rooftop. And you can guys see on the bottom, we have really good reviews of this entire place as it's very social, very interactive, and a lot of people love this place. So we are trying to recreate this in Oak Lawn. Important to every single project, including ours, was getting feedback on the presentation. And on this slide are just some screenshots of different people we talked to, including students, teachers, civil engineering professionals, and they were able to look over our presentation and give us feedback on what we can improve on. So now we're at this point where we're going to be talking about our main evaluation on this project. So some of the revisions that we could have made better for this would be by um, including a special menu for uh, the customers to see what we would have to offer our amazing dishes. Also, another thing that we have learned in this entire project, it's a huge monumental task. Why? Because we had to brainstorm, we had to create many different concepts, we had to even develop some ideas and start constructing them and build them in so that we can uh, produce a really good project for you guys. Looking back on our project and the progress of us getting to this point with our development, the feedback that we have received helped us make clear more to the public about our layout it may cost more competitive with business in order to bring success. We also believe that we have followed all of the possible constraints for this project. Since we have provided info about the area of the site and what we envision and how we are going to make the smokehouse possible. So what are the overall thoughts on this project? So me and Dominic, we both thought that this entire project was huge. And the reason why it was so huge was because we had to use the ideas of engineering and design. So the design chart that we use in engineering is basically we had to brainstorm ideas, generate concepts, and then start developing prototypes and the list goes on. But that's a basic list that we have basically covered. So in this project, what we had to do is we had to understand what we had to do, what we had to create as our layout that would be suitable for the customers and for the site. And we basically had to start designing on how this entire thing would look at, like. And as you can see to the right, this is what um, the overall project has come out to. And we think this is a very good result. So. We both agreed in the very beginning that a smokehouse would be very essential for the community and it's because we knew that a lot of people love barbecue and we knew that this would become very successful in the long run. 